today we're going I'm going to demonstrate uh, the pecan energy balls and if you got a sweet tooth this is a perfect thing to have at end of dinner <laughs> I love them okay so what we have is we have um, three quarter cup uh, pecans that we're going to put in the food processor okay and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to process those first since they're dry. Okay, and we're going to just pulse them a little bit there. Kind of depends, you know, if you want the nuts real fine or not. Some people like it chunkier, you know, so you kind of, that's the fun thing about these recipes, just kind of, you know, kind of do your own thing <laughs> the way you like it. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got um, two cups finely chopped dates. And you can feel good about eating the dates instead of sugar. <laughs> nice and sweet, natural. Okay. And then we have uh, a half a cup almond butter. Like this. I don't know if you ever tried that. It's really good. I love it. Yeah. And if you do this at home, the kids will love it because they can get their hands nice and sticky and they can, you know, <laughs> have fun helping you make these. Okay, and then we have a third cup of tahini, which uh, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, made from sesame seeds. Uh-huh, and it's really high, really high in calcium and iron, which is really good for you. You know, they're always going on not getting enough calcium nowadays. It's Yeah, if you wanted to see any of our jars, you know, like the tahini or almond butter, I can show you what, what it looks like. They sell them both here. Yeah. And then we have, let's see, I'm going to, it calls for uh, one and a third cups dried coconut. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a third of it in the recipe. And then when, after we have everything mixed together, then we're going to roll it in the coconut. Okay. And then uh, we have the uh, two-thirds cup ground uh, sunflower seeds. We're going to ground them. And these have been soaked. So whenever you soak seeds or nuts, it brings out the natural enzymes, which is something we really need nowadays. It's good for you. So it like, wakes them up. wakes up the little seeds when you soak them. Yeah, you can soak them overnight. Sometimes, uh, you know, even during the day, you could soak them for four hours or something like that. And sometimes it's just easier to soak them before you go to bed, you know, then they're all ready to go. Okay. And then we have a fourth a cup. I have a half a cup, but depending upon your sweet tooth, how sweet you like it, you can kind of, you know, after you've made the recipe, you can kind of decide if it's too sweet or, you know, or not enough, then you can always add. Yeah, it's a natural maple syrup. Yeah, without all the sugar in it. Yeah, real maple syrup. The good stuff. Yeah, we only use the good stuff. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to put it in there and mix her up. Okay. That's going to kind of like form into the ball, so I'm going to... Sometimes you want to use the spatula, kind of move it around a little bit. A 
sometimes to make it a little easier you can um, grind a little bit at a time and add some more and sometimes that makes it it'll mix up a little better mm -hmm. probably what I should have done but we'll make the best of this <laughs> Ooh, if we don't lose that in there huh <laughs> And you can also, um, you could add raisins to this or cranberries. There we go. Uh, it also mentions uh, you could use different kinds of nuts, any kind of nuts you want in this. As you can tell, this is good and sticky. And I keep losing my little spatula in there. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think it needs to be ground up too much more. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on here. Because we're going to make it into balls, little balls. You might want to have a, a one of a spatula that doesn't get detached. <laughs> Make it a little easier. But sometimes you just, as you go along, you live and learn, you know, you figure out what's, and I'm sure you've had experience with cooking things. You, as you go along, you know, you figure out what works best. Oh. Okay. So, see if we can get this out of here. <laughs> We're just having too much fun with that spatula, aren't we? <laughs> Trying to get as much out of there as I can. Yeah, if you're in the mood to get good and messy, this is a good recipe. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here... This is a little moisture. Okay. Now, um, I think what I should have done here, well, seeing what the recipe is like now, I could have added more nuts and uh, make it a little drier. Because it's very moist. Yeah, it is very moist. Uh -huh. but anyway, you can make... The coconut just kind of makes it a little prettier, you know. And uh, like I said, if you got kids or grandkids, they probably enjoy doing this, <laughs> messing with this. Anyway, and then you want to, um, after we have a plate full there, you want to put them in the refrigerator and it'll firm them up too. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I got to get a picture of those. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you want to look at this? <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know how I am on time, but anyway, sure glad you came and and uh, it's great to have you here. So well, it's good to have you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, especially when they're smiling. Yeah, thank you. And I'd wave, but my hands are pretty messy. So <laughs> bye.